In this video, I'll show you how to set up your EL SGD 438TP. The same procedure applies to the 70ATP. Firstly, power up your device and a welcome screen will appear. Click Next to begin and choose the number of channels you'd like to use, 1 through to 4. You can now select to measure temperature in Celsius or Fahrenheit and choose how you'd like the unit to start logging. There are three options available. Push to start where logging is activated by pushing a button on screen. Immediate start where the unit starts logging as soon as programming is complete. And delayed start where you choose a time and date in the future for logging to begin. I'll set up the logger using push to start. You can choose a custom logging rate anywhere from 15 seconds to 12 hours by using the up and down toggles. There are also preset logging rates available by selecting the presets button. Add both high and low alarms to your channel if you wish and choose whether the alarms should hold in alarm or switch off once the temperature is back in an acceptable range. Selecting offset calibration will allow you to enter an offset for the probe, allowing for some calibration. The live temperature with this offset will be shown Remember to click save to apply this offset. If you've selected more than one channel, you will now be asked to go through the same steps of choosing logging rate, alarms and offset for the other channels before being asked to select and confirm a four digit pin code. You'll now be on the main logging screen where you can see live data for all channels. If you've chosen push to start, you'll need to click an info button which will take you to the channel information screen. Here you can select play to start the channel logging or if you have more than one channel and you wish to start them all simultaneously you can go to settings and select start logging all channels. Press the back button to return to the live data screen. If any of the channels have gone into alarm the live reading will be shown against the red background and a logged alarm will be shown by the text changing to red. Active logging on any channel is donated by the log icon in the top right of the window. From here or from the channel information screen you can view a graph of the data by selecting the graph button. The channel information screen also shows the lowest and highest temperatures logged, the total number of logs and the session start time and date. Holding the low and high fields will display the relevant alarm set, if any, and holding the number of readings field will display the logging rate. The high and low log values can be reset via the reset button and alarms can be cleared by pressing the alarm icon. From here, you can also go to the settings screen where you can stop logging on all channels, change your pin, adjust the power save settings, or perform a factory reset. All of these additional information screens will automatically revert back to your live data after one minute of inactivity. The logger will store all of your logging sessions which can be viewed at a later date by downloading to your computer. This process will be covered in a separate video. Today we've walked through the use of the standard data logging app supplied with the SGD43 and 70 ATP. If you're familiar with our Panel Polar Ace Design Studio software, you can also create your own custom logging apps. For further information on this product, please visit our website at lascoelectronics.com forward slash data loggers.